One day I was on guard duty security patrol at a base. The team was a mix from various companies, not my own unit. Before I knew it the day shift ended and we moved to the night shift. Past midnight, the whole base fell into stillness. As the monotonous duty dragged on, a young soldier from another company, alias Yeme, spoke up. I'm quitting when my term's up. This sparked an energetic conversation despite the late hour. Somehow we got to talking about when he first enlisted. That's when he said, I went through hell. Right after basic training, he was assigned to a unit in Hokkaido. When shown his bed there, he thought, huh? Among rows of single beds, only his was a bunk bed. Strangely, he was told to sleep on the top bunk even though the bottom was empty. At the time, he just figured someone was away long term for training or something. So he didn't think much of it. After settling in a while, he asked around about who used the lower bunk. Oddly, he was told it didn't belong to anyone. When he offered to sleep there instead, he got a firm, no, sleep on top. Though the situation seemed off for hazing, he reluctantly took the top bunk. Then one night, he awoke struggling to breathe. Next to the bed stood a figure, he said. Despite the room's faint brightness after lights out, the person was a solid black mass with no discernible face. Before he could think, huh? It suddenly choked him, saying, Ye may, ye may, listen to my request. As he choked, desperately thrashing against the pain and inability to scream, his indignation, the shadow pressed closer. Finally, he shouted, No! Who would listen? At that the figure sadly vanished, or so he claimed. Demanding answers from his roommates the next day, they all kept silent. But a senior from their company took pity and explained the backstory. Apparently just before he arrived, someone who committed suicide, by jumping off a ferry had used that lower bunk. Originally a single bed, so many spooky things happened. They converted it to a bunk. Scary enough to make your hair stand on end, supposedly.